13 rebounds, 15 and six boards for Austin Crozier. Once was a sellout crowd, it is now pretty empty here. Steven Jackson with a pair of free throws. It's 97-82 Indiana. Smith Parker activated today when Carlos Delfino went on the injury list with a knee bruise. Ben to the rack, lays it up no, but we do have the whistle and a foul. Ben just went after our tent. Oh, that's not we good. got trouble right here in the Motor City. We got big trouble here in the Motor City. That's not good for Ben. And Derek Coleman is up the bench. That's going to be a uh, suspension. I don't understand. I never saw what set it off, but that's going to cost Ben some money and maybe something else. Larry Brown trying to hang on to Ben. Trying to keep Rip Hamilton away. I don't know. There could have been some words spoken out here we don't know about, even though we're in the front row. Steven Jackson still screaming at the Pistons. Derek Coleman pulling Ben back. Garher pulling Chauncey back. I can't tell how many fights going to happen here, but Dice is down all the way down there. He came back now, but. Being pulled back by Pat Sullivan. That was Elvin Campbell that was down there under a coma. Now Ron Artest has gone on the headsets. The Indiana broadcast. And Ben Wallace has threw something at him again. Ben's going to get a substantial fine and suspension if he doesn't really slow down here. Rasheed is still over on the Indiana side of the timeline. There goes Ben Wallace again. There goes our test up into the crowd. He's absolutely out of his mind. And Steven Jackson slugging people in the crowd here. The whole Indiana team is in the crowd. And now the Pistons are coming over. This is not good for the NBA or for Detroit. This is the ugliest scene you'll ever see. Sheet has to get out of the stands. What in the world is going on here? The Sheet's trying to be a peacekeeper in the whole thing up in the stands right now. Rick Mahorn jumped up to try and keep people apart. There's a fight down the other end right now. Ben Wallace is on the floor. Well, the officials have no way to control this. And the coaches and the assistant coaches and everybody, when these guys lose it, and there's so many of them, there's almost nothing you can do. This was a Pier 6 brawl at the Palace tonight. And we still have 45.9 seconds to go. Indiana's whole team is leaving the court, going to a locker room. People are throwing things, bottles, etc. They're showering with beer now. Have you ever built? Well, I've been in the league 29 years. I've yeah. never seen anything like that. I've seen a couple of guys in the stands for a fight, and now they're still going at it down on the other end. This is not a pretty sight, but it happens. Very emotional game. Indiana came here with a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion, and they're really throwing stuff at the Indiana going out the tunnel right now. Well, it's Ron Artest, I believe, who was the object of the fans' wrath over there. 
you may never see anything like this again in pro sports. Well, at least in the NBA, because this is going to be a serious, serious situation. And they have called the game for the rest of the game, is what the announcer is saying over to PA. The game has been called. Indiana wins the game, if you remember, 97-82. And the way it ended was as ugly as anything you may ever see. Yeah, they'll be un unbelievable is going to be the fines and also the suspensions that will be coming out of this game. Well, the fans, like most fans, hollering at some of the Pacer players and then suddenly Ron Artest ran into the stands. I mean, you can get hurt at a game like this. Yeah, I don't know what what set that one off because when our test was way down at the other end and he just came wailing down the scorer's table, jumped into the stands and started hitting people. Here's how it started. Ben to the basket. Hard foul by our test. Ben right. said, I've had enough. That's enough. I'm going to shove you. And now poor Tommy Nunez Jr. is trying to keep him apart. And, the, and Rasheed Wallace is trying to keep Ben away, yep. but Rip is hot. And Steven Jackson now steps up into the middle of it. Well, it ended right there. Okay, life was wonderful. Run our test right. goes and gets out of the way. Okay, which he, he doesn't, with this baggage he's been having, he doesn't want any part of it. And here comes Run our test into the stands. Up into the stands to swing at a fan. This guy runs into the stands to swing at a fan. A guy half his size. Oh, Steven Jackson's up there swinging at people. Mahorn's in the Ricky Mahorn is trying to break it up. Ditto for Rashid. And there's a guy, a fan, punching our test. Our Mike test is Brown, punching Indiana a fan. Indiana coach up there, one of the assistants, trying to slow things down. Rick Carlisle gets Ron Artest out of there briefly. Well, the cardinal sin of, of any professional sporting event is that a player, and no matter what happens, cannot go into the stands. That is the ultimate sin as far as any professional sport is concerned. You can have your fights on the floor, take your suspensions, but when you start going to the fan, after the fans, oh, there's another one. Here's a fan walking up to Artest. And Ron swings at him. Ooh, O'Neal will get a Man tremendous fight. O'Neal swinging at a fan. And this is going to be, uh, it's going to be set an all-time record for number of games suspended and for the number of dollars that are going to be given away by some of these players. It's going to be the all-time record in terms of ugliness at a professional sporting event. It's unfortunate it had to happen in the NBA and at the Palace. Man, oh man, Rick Mahorn, the peacemaker. What are you going to do? We'll be back in just a moment with more from the Palace. This is no longer a basketball game, and you got to stop talking about the basketball game. Indiana won it. The NBA got themselves a, uh, a bad piece of publicity here tonight. George Blaha with Bill Lambeer and Bernie Smilovitz. I don't believe what I just saw, Bernie. Well, I was just telling uh, Billy that uh, I think the last time we saw anything close to that here was when he got in a fight with Charles Barkley, but the fans were not involved. In right. I, I, when that thing started, when Ben pushed him, I walked down about halfway and Martez was sitting on that table. And his beer came flying out of the stands. And that thing hit him square in the head and he exploded off that table. And he went into the stands. And that's when guys started jumping over. And people in press row, uh, Nancy and Eddie and a couple other people here, Palace staff, were injured and were hurt. I mean, this is an ugly, ugly situation. And uh, I, I, I don't know how you could have avoided it except cleared them quicker but with 45 seconds left this game is done yep it's been uh, called off the Indiana Pacers 
hung on to win, but uh, when the tempers flared and Ron Artest is an edgy kind of player, uh, Ben went to the basket, it was a hard foul. Uh, you know, on the edge of being a flagrant foul, Ben had had enough. That happens, though. Yeah, one after him. What happens on the court. Yeah, and that should have stayed right on the right. court. Yeah, you, can have, you can have a fight on the court. You can have altercations on the court. That's that's intense professional sports. And, okay, that happens. There's going to be fine suspensions. But when it spills over into the crowd, that is the cardinal sin of any professional sporting event. You do not go into the stands after the fans. You cannot do it. That'll be, that's like a whole season suspension at times as ugly yeah. as it was right now I don't have any idea how David Stern and his people are going to be able to sort all this out and and dispense the kind of justice they feel they they needed to uh, dispense in this situation because you don't see things like this I saw uh, Eric money and uh, Charles Dudley in the stands uh, in a playoff game back in the 70s I saw uh, Bob Lanier and Bernard King in the stands in New Jersey maybe uh, six seven years later but there weren't any fans involved right right right, right. guy chasing another guy in the stands well, there was what some happened. serious haymakers on the fans down there by the uh, Indiana events not only in the stands right here behind the scores table right but down at the end of it by Indiana's bench they were really attacking a fan and just just hauling off and just wailing on him and that can't happen you've seen that happen in baseball this year where a, a couple a couple years ago also where a couple guys came out of the Dodgers dugout and fought the fans in the right field stands but once the fans once the fans are involved in this thing, a player cannot go into the stands. That's the, you're right. That's the single rule in all the sports. You cannot mix this into the stands. Right. And this is, I don't even know how you begin to sort this whole thing out. And where you guess what Art, Ron Artest gets I'd like for this to see thing. It again. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, let's see how it started. I think Pete Scorch, our uh, producer director, uh, just rolled uh, some highlights or lowlights. A moment ago this well, is how it started this, this is okay this is basketball yeah, okay? exactly you know you got two intense teams our tests they're going to get you a hard foul yeah all right now okay now Ben he takes exception okay that happens it wasn't a punch it was a two-handed to the face all right the teams are going to get all scrummy and you know you're going to get a lot of pushing yeah, right. and shoving and and that's a hard foul yeah, I mean okay. yeah but, it, but so what okay it's like the end of the game and it's it done right and, and, and ben, ben does the right thing too he goes and sticks up for himself See, and that's the beer that came flying. Now, you'll see me running the back there somewhere, but he comes right. I mean, it's unbelievable. Now, is that, does he know where that came from, or did he just go to I'm, the first place? I'm not sure. But as you can see, Stephen Jackson yeah, up that, there anyway. that, that, that's, It's hard to hit punches like this in a big crowd like this. I mean, this is... This is very ugly, but it gets even worse. Yeah, fan gets in there and see Rick Mahorn trying to break it up too. Yeah, and Rasheed Wallace went into stands to also try to break it up also. But it, you know, that that was a very ugly scene. But down at the other end of the bench, uh, another altercation went off, and there were some very serious punches being thrown down there by the Indians.